What do you think an 80s mall smelled like? Either Cinnabon or maybe Annie's pretzels. Recently, I went to visit my friend Allison. You might recall we went to the Sting concert. You probably know her from some of my videos. She also has an Etsy store and she makes candles. So she posed this question to me. She asked me, um, well, first I told her I'd like to have a candle that smells like an 80s mall. And so then she was like, that's interesting, Abby. What do you think an 80s mall would smell like? So I said it would be a cross between, like you said, the Cinnabon, the pretzels, and then I said, and also a fountain, because the ones that we grew up at, at least our favorite mall, had like all these fountains. Oh, you definitely get to the smell of chlorine Like in there. that kind of chlorine smell, and when Zoe, our daughter, was little, our mall in El Paso had that, and we would always go and toss pennies in. She would make wishes. So that sort of fountain smell also reminds me, the chlorine smell reminds me of the mall. So all of those, it's like a an assault of the nose, really. Like, it's a lot of smells together. It's like together. a potpourri of a bunch of different smells. Yeah, so guess what, Keith? What? She made an 80s mall candle, you guys. Ooh. Isn't that amazing? It's very pretty. I like the pattern, I like the color. Let's see if she captured the smell of the 80s mall that you might have imagined. Here we go. Mmm. So Abby, what makes this candle special? <laughs> Besides smelling like an 80s mall? Yes. Allison also hid a little treasure in there for us. Some All kind right. of pride. So this is not just a candle, there is a treasure in this candle. Yeah, they're called like Ooh. hidden treasure candles. Nice. And so somewhere in here, as it burns, we're gonna get a surprise. It'll be wrapped in foil so it doesn't ruin it. It's, it's probably some jewelry. I was hoping for maybe some tokens to Aladdin's castle. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like a Star Wars action figure or something. <laughs> no, I was thinking about something that I could use at the mall. Oh, tokens for video games. That'd be a good one. Um, unfortunately, we don't have Aladdin's castle anymore, so they wouldn't work for you. <laughs> I think she put some jewelry in there, and I think it might be for me, so uh, sorry. But... I was about to say, this can look really nice on me. <laughs> but you're going to get to enjoy the smell. So let's light this candle, and then let's see what it smells like and see what kind of treasures come out of it. Okay, before you light a candle, it's always a good idea to trim the wick. So I'm going to use this little wick trimmer here. Did you guys notice the purple color? Totally matches my caboodles. Okay, <laughs> let's light this thing. Three wicks for maximum scent. So we're about eight hours into burning the candle and look you guys, this just floated to the surface of the liquid candle. So we are going to blow the candle out. We're gonna use tweezers to remove the little foil pack. And I'm just gonna set it here on a paper plate, let it cool a little bit, then we get to open it. We're gonna unwrap this little foil gift. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's been a few weeks now and we have really enjoyed burning the 80s mall candle. Yes, it smells awesome. But you guys, we have some great news because my friend Allison now has these available to buy in her Etsy shop. So the shop is called Ocala Lane and you guys, she's giving you a discount. If you wanna save 10%, and I know you do, <laughs> When you go to her Etsy store, input R80's life as the coupon code. It's that easy. And also, Allison has made some changes. Now this one was a prototype and it smelled great. But you know, we were thinking about the fact that some people might prefer the Cinnabon scent or some other scent. So she's actually giving you guys four scent options. So she stepped up her game. So <laughs> the four scents are Penny Fountain, Cinnabon, Orange Julius, and Salon Selectives, remember that yummy hairspray that we used to use in the 80s? <laughs> so you can pick your scent. You can also decide if you want a personalized note, because this would make a great gift, or 
if you want to get the little hidden jewelry treasure inside. But what about if you're a dude and you don't want jewelry? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Allison has thought of that. So if you don't want the jewelry, there is a unisex option so you can get a unisex treasure instead of jewelry. These are really great, long lasting, high quality candles. You guys know Allison, she's been my friend forever. And we'd love if you'd support her business if you're interested in getting one of these candles. So your house can smell like an 80s mall too. Mm. <laughs>